Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. We're going to start our next multiplayer matchup, continuing on with make my way through all the custom maps. We're currently working on the Trench. It's a strategic command, 2,000 points. I am playing as the Orcs against the Blood Angels. 80 point target, 8 turn limit. So, let's see what this is all about. Hopefully I won't end up eating. Oh, damn it. All right, well, as you can see, I've got these forces here. I thought, oh, I'll give uh, our forces another uh, chance here from the last mission we did. And I didn't really think about what trenches meant because apparently I'm an idiot. And clearly, with trenches, it's going to have difficulty navigating terrain. So, yeah, that's a thing. So, and the other thing is I didn't quite understand where the points were, because it was kind of hard to look at the map and figure out where the points are. And then, for some reason, it looks like both the points are in the center, and there's not a point on the right side of the map. So now I have to reposition everybody. that's on the right side towards the center and that was a huge force so yeah rough start for me all right let's get that guy up here let's start running these guys over here I guess we just try to get these dang burners over there get the looters over here Now this actually seems like uh, an interesting map, how it's set up here. I still think you probably need to have, well you don't need to do anything, but I would recommend that the point be on the other side, kind of like how this is, because it's going to create a little more dynamic play. I don't know if you could actually make like a strategic command map with like six points or not if you wanted to do both in the center. Or if you could somehow get one right in the center and then have them be able to walk over it. But now, while this one has a lot of choke points and things on it, it's actually a more dynamic map because there's so many different pathways to move your guys around. It doesn't get you quite as uh, blocked up as some of these other maps. So this one actually is kind of an interesting setup here. Let's see here. Can I get you forward, I wonder? Yeah. So, unfortunately, it looks like he's still going to have full protection there. I don't think I can walk across the top, so it's like I can... Oh, yeah, I can, actually. Hmm. That's interesting. Wheel. I guess let's just move you up here. Move you to there. I wonder if I can clear out these guys here. Because if we can, then we can maybe try to take a point back. Not sure that's really going to work though. Yeah, see, that's full. Our substantial riches out. Yeah, that's not good. Is the best in our if the I bring best you force. here, that should put you in full the cover too, then. But then it also is going to put us. Hmm. I think I probably should have moved you up one. But let's do that. If I move you over here, I don't think that's going to get you into range of the pain boy. Where if I move you back here, you will be. 
And then maybe if they try to jump me, I can then get some shots. If they come this way, they'll be sorry. The dogs are there. Alright, well, a little bit of a cluster over there. This is actually the bigger issue here. Is the fact that these guys are so freaking out of position. Given that I didn't realize that there was no points over on the right side of the map. So I guess let's just move you over here then. Can move the burners there. I guess we'll just move you guys over this way. But yeah, this is a major pain in the butt here. Yeah, they could move you up here. And then I bet if I move you to there, we can probably start shooting into... The land speeder. Ooh, it's even a tornado. So I would like to drop that. Yeah, so he's got pretty much all... What the hell? You can shoot from here, but not up one? So weird how this game does angles like that. Alright, well, I could move you up. And maybe we can put up the flame. These guys are just stuck back here. I don't know if he's going to jump you or not, so I guess I can put you guys on overwatch. Yeah, he's definitely taking command here with all of his guys here. Alright, so he... I definitely am a strong believer that if you're going to bring the tornadoes, you want the heavy flamers. Let's see, he's going to probably whip some grenades. Ooh, even critted at 120-something, so that means he's probably going to kill this guy and blow him up on me. Yeah, sure did. Pulling him back. Damn. Please don't kill my warbot, or my, not warbot, weird, yeah, weird boy, because he's my commander. That was, uh, not great. Well. How do I want to do this, I wonder? If I pull you back, if I put you to here... And you'll be in a position to start attacking some other guys. But then it's going to leave you out in the open. But I think i got to get you into a position to be able to do something. I'm actually more scared of the tornado. Alright, you're there. You've got a 61. Ready boats. Let's shoot into here. Boss, 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 boss. Now, he did run away, so let's try to take that point back. Now, I'm not sure if four orcs here can, are enough to kill an assault squad or not. They are not, so you need full five to kill in the Skull Squad. That's unfortunate. Let's start running you over here to try to hold down the spot there. If I move you here, I can shoot into this tornado and that should get the kill. Good. 
I can move you over here. And I guess we're going to move you up this way. I could move the burners up here. Maybe try to get a flank, or if I could move up top. Not, not, not a thing. Okay, well, I guess we'll do that then. I guess let's move the pain boy up here. Shit, I could have killed these things had I buffed them with the weird boy. I wasn't thinking. It's a big old bummer. Well, let's just move you up to here, I guess. Get that going. Shoot into here. Hmm, only a 33% chance to hit, which is not good. You almost dropped him. Alright, if I run you to here... Then I can heal. Let's move you up to here. Try to heal up these knobs. Damn it. Alright, well that's a big old bummer. Move you up to here. And I need to get you the hell out of town so he doesn't kill you and I'll lose those command points. I guess let's move you forward to try to get some bonus HP from the pain boy. He's got terminators with claws. I'm curious to see if maybe they uh, are any better with the updates too. Although I just rarely find that they're worthwhile compared to the storm hammer. Let's just make them blind, I guess, if I can't uh, kill him. He's still ahead of me. Yeah, this is going to be bad news here. Bad news bears for sure. Now that was probably pretty comparable. He just wanted to make sure they didn't get suppressed, I assume. I don't know, that did pretty decent damage, actually. But I guess they did have Inceptors also shooting into them, so... Well, I'm not getting that point back now. Ah, Librarian's coming over after the Burnus. He'll be able to kill him for sure. Alright, you flamed the lieutenant. Um, okay, I guess he did make it. I thought maybe I suppressed him. They're just toying with my emotions, I guess. Who are you attacking? Ah, shit. He just killed my... Uh... Oh, and he got his bonus attack. Well, that was uh, not good. See, now I would expect them to get the bonus attack because he got model kills. Yeah, next to his commander. Unless the commander's a sanguinary guard, of course. I have faced better. Oh, poor thing. Let me check his pockets. Alright. Hmm. 
Not quite sure why he decided to do it like that, but he did. Alright, well, we've got a situation here for sure. I guess we'll pull you back here. And I should be able to shoot this lieutenant. He is the commander. I guess the only question would be... Well, hmm. I wonder if I could do a strafing run instead? Something to burn. I mean, ideally I'd like you to flame the Sanguinary Guard, but I don't think you're going to be able to do that. So let's just get you there. Capture this, and then you can body block. It's our time. Can you... Attack that. He's down. And then you can pull back. I'm not sure quite how to position these guys to get the best attack. That's 16%. That's 25, 24, if I bring you here, do this, attack there, and then have you attack here, oh, I wasn't quick enough. So these guys took a bunch of unnecessary attacks. Shit, I thought that was going to be enough to kill him. That's actually a big mistake. Uh, that was really an unnecessary attack. Well, I guess we should maybe bring the knobs over that way. I'm not up to two yet, unfortunately. Hmm. Hmm. Does a little bit of damage there. I can do 30 here. It's not great. 55. Uh, that's pretty close. What's the range? That's finger jab. Let's do that. If I attack here, you'll probably get countered and killed. I think I gotta just pull you back. Because I don't think your headbanger does quite enough yet. I'd have to move you all the way up there. And then you're gonna be too. I mean, he'll just kill you. And I'd rather have the strafing run. So I think we just need to pull you back. To keep you alive. It's our time. Hmm. I mean, I could run you over there to start fighting, but he's probably going to take this point back. So I feel like I should get you over here to try to help protect it. Maybe I bring the Ludas over there to get more shots. We're tied, but he has way more mobility than I do. Yeah, he's gonna run over here and heal the Sanguinary Guard, aren't you? Yep. They're back up. He knows I can't get there, so he's like, screw it, I'm just gonna kill everybody. Ah. Those guys are running up there. 
Crack grenade, yeah. Shooting into him, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah, here come the assault marines. That was coming. Yeah, librarian's just gonna chop up these burnas left and right. Nice. At least you held that up, but you got your stupid weak counter attacks there instead of regular attacks. All right, he's put these guys up. You have a strafing run ready. So if I strafe up here, I think I can kill all three of these guys, can I? If I do that. Really? I was really expecting that to be almost a guaranteed kill. I am really surprised by that. Hmm. Well, if I bring you to here, you can attack those assault marines. Nice. Ugh, oh, you're short, just short having enough for a surge. Because I really need you to surge. Yeah, it's just not clear to me when these guys are in full cover. Alright. Pull you back get you up to here shoot into these guys it's just not clear to me if he's really in full cover 11% please kill this guy oh my god alright well I think that probably just caused me to lose well I was going to lose anyways but uh I think that for sure just cinched it for me. Because I don't think I can get you over that far. Because I assume the librarian's going to come after these guys. You're here. Those guys are going to get killed. It says 0%. I don't know if I've ever really seen a 0%, but yep, it really was 0%. That checks out. I uh, didn't believe it, but it is, in fact, 0%. Ah, uh, that sucks. Alright, so... Let's see if we can just kill those two models. There you go. I can bring you over to here. I don't think you can flame from around a corner. It's not a clip, yeah. So I can move you over one, and turn you. I guess we're just gonna keep you here, but I'm pretty sure that librarian will be able to kill those guys. Oh, I can't believe I didn't kill those guys. I really thought that was gonna be a guaranteed kill. 
But now I'm probably going to set myself up for strafing runs and all sorts of badness. Ah, he's using the spear. Now they're weak enough that he should be able to slice him up. I bet that's what his deal was because he was scared about the counter. Yep, now he's going to capture both of these. Damn it. Oh, I see. He's capturing it with that one so he can capture the other one with the other guys. Smart. He actually might table me here. Yeah, I figured there was a strafing run coming in my way. Oh, that's a good idea. Bring him over so then he can get the increased chance of getting extra stuff. I can't tell what he's doing. I assume he's jumping or something. Yeah, see he's jumping over here. Killing me. Alright, and with that, that was a solid win for our opponent here, because there's really nothing for me to be able to do here. Um, I don't think I can really kill anybody. I was really hoping to be able to at least drop the lieutenant out of anger, but I don't know if I even have anybody that can. Yeah, that's way out of range. Maybe with those guys being blind. Can I just run him over, I wonder? I could shoot these guys. Alright, that worked. Alright, well, given that I just was able to surge, let's try to take advantage of this now. There you go. One of those attacks landed. Let's get you over here, surge, kill that damn lieutenant with his three health, make me feel better about myself. Alright, and with that I think we pretty much just need to concede, um, there's not a whole lot for us here. I can do a strafing run too I suppose, take out the assault marines but, nope actually I couldn't, they're still alive. so. All right, and with that, I am going to concede. I think this is actually a pretty decent map. I wish it was a little more clear where you could get onto the terrain with your units from the trenches. And I wish there that the points weren't both in the center here. I wish one was on the right side of the map, especially with how I deployed our forces, because that effectively makes it so there's no reason for you to be on the right side of the map. Um, so in that way, I think it would be more prudent to have it spaced out a little bit. Otherwise, you're, it's like, why even go to the right side of the map? You're fighting over the center and towards the left. Um, but it definitely feels like even though there's lots of twists and turns, you can get in the trenches, you can cause a little bit of uh, protection to yourself with some cover systems. Jump infantry are definitely good. Hover infantry are going to be good. But there's enough ways to get around that it doesn't feel overbearing. Definitely, this is now two for two for this orc force that I've selected where I definitely should have just had uh, Storm Boys going and it would have been a total game changer for me, but instead I would try to go with the Burnus thinking that they were going to be able to flame any jump infantry that came towards me. Um, not really thinking about, hey, this is you're going to be playing in trenches. You probably want to have a highly mobile force. I just totally didn't even occur to me like to take it at its word. I just kind of looked at the map generator there on the picture I'm like oh yeah I should be able to just have guys standing on top of the trench shooting all over the place not 
understanding that it was just going to be a deployment nightmare. Uh, but very well done to our opponent. Obviously, with a force a map like this, you want to have a jump infantry force, so it definitely strongly favors um, units like the Necrons that have hovers or uh, Space Marines with all their jump infantry. Um, I think a force like the uh, Tau would probably have some difficulty because you're going to be able to run guys right into their face and then they're going to have trouble returning fire with you potentially. Um, but if you can set up some nice flamer attacks and things like that, potentially you could get around it um, and to be able to smack down their units. But once he was able to close the distance, especially with the Terminators, you know, he had nice play there. He locked down my range units. I didn't have anybody then that could end up getting the kills because my knobs, which are my main damage dealers, were just sniped out effectively. And I didn't have anybody that could really uh, fight toe to toe with his units here. Uh, I spent a lot of attacks trying to focus down those land speeders. Again, I could have done that more effectively had I deployed my forces in a more intelligent manner, but I just tried to try to shoot what I could. Um, I think you saw that the, what is it, the heavy cannon or whatever it's called, I'm not a big fan of that. He barely was able to kill one unit with it. Uh, it was enough to stop me from being able to just take the point with my Burna for a turn because four Burnas is not enough to do a squad wipe with Assault Marines. But for the most part, for the points he put into it, I don't think it paid off. Now, I was surprised at how much damage it dealt to my uh, Weird Boy because he was almost able to snipe my commander between using that cannon and the heavy bolter so that could have been a nightmare had he had sniped that guy on the very first turn but he did beautiful plays by focusing down my uh, weird boys he very much lucked out on by killing those single unit entities uh, a lot of the time you won't trigger that extra ap but of course he did and then he was able to stack up a lot of momentums with those kills and then he kept getting attack and attack and attack and that's how you can really get the most bang for your buck using those uh, sanguinary guards because they are just complete monsters now I'm a little surprised he went with the swords. It worked beautifully for him. Most of the time I think the axes work better because I'm never sure if I'm going to use them to try to snipe enemy heroes or vehicles. But in an all-infantry fight like this, uh, the swords are absolutely the way to go. Gave him a lot of extra attacks, especially because uh, if you miss the first one, then they can still do the second attack. Totally cut through my forces like butter here and uh, just totally slaughtered me. Librarians again very good against orcs they have that good splash damage as you saw he was able to actually throw that lance through me and uh, that weakened the knobs down enough that he was then just able to slap them down with his sword um, again I don't understand how they do the counterattack in this game instead of just giving the units that are counterattacking their regular attack they're uh, nerfed randomly on some units which I don't understand um, I feel like part of the strategy of this game should know are you gonna kill the guys and encourage you to even sometimes overkill to prevent having a big counterattack um, but for whatever reason uh, that's not how it works with the knobs and so even though they have all this money invested into them uh, for their claws they hit back for 10 to 20 instead of the full uh, 40 to 60 which they can normally do um, I guess they felt that was too powerful but I think slapping them around when you have all those points invested into them doesn't feel good either um, so I don't know I'm curious to know what your guys' thoughts are I really wish they would kind of change how they do the counter attacks because some like I said some units fully preserve their full attacks and other ones don't you know the cannonist does so she can just clap anybody's cheeks especially as she's getting more and more momentum built up she gets hard to kill and then she can go one head to head pretty much with a bloodthirster which seems weird especially because the bloodthirster does this little dorky kick for 50 damage and she'll sit there and slap him especially with the blessed blade for like 180 damage seems rather ridiculous to me now if you don't want it to be a full splash attack because that's too powerful i guess i get it but i kind of wish that the counter attack was just a full regular attack and really makes you think twice about getting into melee and making sure you get the kills but maybe i you know i'm not the designer of the game and that's just one opinion so i'm curious to know if you guys agree with me or tell me to go pound rocks here because maybe i'm just crazy but uh i think this is a fun map i definitely would play it again um a little clutter i wish there was a little more opening on there i know it, like people think they got to put shit all over the place on the maps to uh make it look more dynamic but it's sometimes hard to tell what's real obstacles what aren't obstacles what are points where you can climb up that you can't um, so i wish there's just some way to indicate that a little bit better so it was clear where you could get onto um the map and where you couldn't and then again i 
wish one of those center points for the command point was on the right side of the map too just to create more dynamic instead of fighting over the center because if somebody doesn't know about this map like me then you're going to put forces on the right side and then you have to shift them over so thanks for watching i hope you're enjoying these videos if you are please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you have a great day